Hello everyone, today we will use AppWrite in order to create a coffee shop. So let's jump on their website on AppWrite.io and make sure that you already have an account and go to console. And now let's set up a new project, okay? So hit create project. The project name will be coffee shop. Hit next. And this is the only region available, so hit create. Now, after we created the project, we need to set up the platform. So let's hit on Android and we can put the coffee shop. And here we need to get the package name. So go in Android Studio, build.gradle.kts from the app module and make sure that you copy the namespace, then paste it here then let's click on next I already added this okay skip optional steps and now let's go into databases click on create database and the database name will be coffee database and the database ID will be coffee db no let's create a collection and hit collection ID the collection ID will be my coffee list and here we put the coffee list name and inside now we can create coffee objects so before that we need to go to attributes and here we pass the parameters of the class so let's create an ID which is a string and let's say enter key is ID the enter size will be I don't know let's say 5000 characters required and hit create let's create another string this is the name also 5000 required and the last one is I think we have an URL here and this is picture URL and this is also required so hit create now let's create the coffee object so let's go put an ID the name is frappe and the image is this one and the document ID we can set a custom document ID and this is coffee zero and create let's create another document this will be one the name is cappuccino and the image is this one and the id is coffee underline one okay hit create and now we are ready to jump jump into android studio to set up the database and to create the application so let's go in android studio and in the build.grader.kts we need to add a couple of dependencies so let's jump in the libs versions.toml and make sure that you add these dependencies the coil compose for uh, getting the image from the internet the serialization because we need to make serializable classes in order to use the type save navigation of jetpack compose and the uh, is AppWrite SDK for, for Android and make sure that you also have this plugin the Kotlin X serialization and let's jump into build.gradle.kts from the app module and make sure that you add this here and the plugin here okay I forgot to set the database permissions so as it is right now we can't write or read to the database if we don't have an account but if we go to settings and go to permissions and we need to add a role for any and now we need to check all of them and hit update okay and now we can go into android studio in the main activity and let's start by cleaning up the code to perform operations to our database we need to create the client so in order to do that we need to say client client is equal to app write client and pass this as context because we are in the main activity set 
endpoint and this is the app write database endpoint and set project and to get the project id you need to go into overview and click copy and paste it here now let's create the coffee data class so coffee and we have an id which is a string a name and on picture url pass this as string okay app write sends the data from the database as a map of string and any so we need to convert that map into a coffee object so let's say map of string any dot to coffee and put an equals here and let's say coffee open the brackets and say okay Gemini I already auto completed this so let's hit tab and we are good to go now let's start to create the get coffee list and the get coffee functions but before that let's say vol databases and write databases and pass the client and this databases uh, variable will be used to fetch data from the database now let's say suspend fun and say get coffee list and pass the databases open the curly brackets and return a list of coffee okay and now we need to say result is equal to databases list documents and here we need to pass the database id and the collection id and let's close this and the database id is coffee db and the collection id is my coffee list now we need to say result documents for each and now we get the document and now we need to say coffee is equal to document data to coffee and now we need to add this in the list so coffee list add coffee and now we can simply return the coffee list now let's create the get coffee by id and put the coffee id which is our string and the databases open the curly brackets and i think that Gemini I completed this again yeah it's okay and I misspelled the coffee okay coffee and now we simply need to return the coffee so return result data to coffee now we are done with the get operations from the database and later in this video I will show you how to also create update and delete things from the database but now let's create the coffee card and here we pass the coffee and on click and put on it let's wrap this with a card and here pass the on click now let's put a modifier of padding 10 dp now let's wrap this with a column and inside we put an async image to display the network image from the coffee so coffee picture url the content description is null and we want to uh, round its corner so rounded modifier clip rounded corner shape and of 12, 12 dp now let's add the coffee name so coffee name and increase the size by saying style material theme typography title medium let's also add some padding in the column so modifier modifier padding of 12 dp and let's also say the vertical arrangement arrangement spaced by 8 dp now let's create the coffee screen so coffee screen and here we will have the coffee list so coffee list and this is a list of coffee and uh, on coffee click 
which is unit and we pass the ID. Let's put this on separate lines. And now let's create a lazy vertical grid and the columns are grid cells dot fixed of two. And let's also add some content padding. So padding values, horizontal 6 dp and vertical 8 dp. Inside let's say items and pass the coffee list. Open the curly brackets, get the coffee and inside we simply say coffee card and pass the coffee. Let's remove the curly brackets from here and let's use this as parameter. So on click and we simply say on coffee, click coffee dot ID. Now let's create the coffee details screen. So coffee details screen and this will show the coffee image and the name. So let's say column make this fill the whole size, like our fill max size. The vertical arrangement will be arrangement.center. And now let's create the async image. Async image, pass the coffee.picture URL. The description is null and the image loader, we don't need that. Now let's say modifier, modifier, size of 300 dp and let's round the corner so a clip rounded corner shape of 20 dp and below yeah that we needed now we are ready to create the navigation so let's start with the screen so let's say serializable and here we create a data object coffee list and Another serializable object, data class of coffee details. And here we pass an ID, which is a string. And if you don't know how to use type same navigation, it is easy to use. You can learn by this video or you can watch the video from the top right corner. So let's say nav controller is remember nav controller. Now let's simply create a nav host, nav controller, and let's add the start destination. And in the start destination, we simply pass the coffee list. And now we need to say composable and pass the coffee list. And here we need to get the coffees. So let's say, well, coffee, uh, let's create before that a launched effect and put a key of true. And now let's say get coffee list and pass the databases. And now let's get, uh, let's create a coffee list. So var, var coffee list, coffee list by remember, not nav controller by simply remember mutable state of, of list of coffee. Let's import the required things and put an empty list here. And now we can say coffee list is equal to get coffee list. And the last thing we have to do in this screen is to call the coffee coffee screen. Okay. I pass the coffee list. And also to make sure that when we click on a coffee, we navigate to the coffee details and let's get the coffee ID and pass it here. Now let's go below and say composable and pass the coffee details. And to get the arguments, we need to say it dot to route and pass the coffee details. And now we have the arguments and now let's say launched effect with a key of true and now we need to get the coffee by the id that we passed from the first screen so let's say coffee by remember mutable state of unnullable coffee and put null as default value and here we need to say coffee is equal to get coffee by ID 
args.id and pass the databases. And now we need to say coffee details screen and pass the coffee before we need to run a null check because we don't want to pass a null object. So let's put coffee let and pass the it as the coffee. And let's uh, also add the internet permission in the manifest. So uses uses permission, internet, and okay, so I noticed two mistakes and the one is with the client because we initiate this here, the context is not set it up correctly and remove the enable edge to edge. And also another mistake, I when I auto-completed this with Gemini, I didn't care about the coffee ID and as you know, in the database, let's go here. I emptied this with coffee and after that is the ID. And as it was until now, it sent the document ID like zero or one, but now we need to send this like that. And now we should be fine. So let's run the app. Okay, so now let's click on the frappe and okay, I forgot to center this horizontally and the corners are are not uh, rounded so let's simply say content scale crop because I forgot to do that and the uh, horizontal alignment will be centered horizontally and now this should look fine so let's hit the frappe okay it looks perfect and now let's also create the create update and delete methods so let's start with the create one so let's go here and let's say fun create coffee and let's say coffee and the databases open the curly brackets now let's say databases create a document and the database id is coffee db the collection id is my coffee list and the data is any and we need to convert the coffee class into a map of string and any as we did here with the map to convert it in a coffee we can do the same thing with the coffee so let's say fun and let's say to json and this will return uh, let's simply put an equal and yeah, let's create a map of and pass these values. Let's say coffee to JSON. And we need to say the document ID is coffee and coffee ID. Yeah. And we also need to make this function suspend. So add suspend before fun. Now let's update a coffee, for example. So suspend fun, update coffee, and pass the coffee and the databases. And we need to say databases, update document, pass the database ID, which is coffee DB, collection ID, the my coffee list, the data coffee dot to JSON. And I think, yeah, it's almost the same thing, but it's another function. So document ID is coffee, coffee dot ID. And the delete function is suspend fun, delete coffee, and we need to simply pass the coffee ID, which is a string databases. And I think it's okay. Yeah, Co database ID, coffee collection, and the document ID is coffee ID. Yeah, it's perfect. So if you learned something new from this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and see you in the next video.